John. Chapter 16. I have told you all this so that you may not fall away. They will expel you from the synagogues, and indeed the time is coming when anyone who kills you will think he is doing a holy service to God. They will do these things because they have never known either the Father or me. But I have told you all this, so that when the time for it comes you may remember that I told you. I did not tell you this from the beginning, because I was with you. But now I am going to the one who sent me. Not one of you asks, where are you going? Yet you are sad at heart because I have told you this. Still, I am telling you the truth. It is for your own good that I am going, because unless I go, the paraclete will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will show the world how wrong it was, about sin, and about who was in the right, and about judgment. About sin. In that they refused to believe in me. About who was in the right. In that I am going to the Father and you will see me no more. About judgment in that the prince of this world is already condemned. I still have many things to say to you but they would be too much for you to bear now. However, when the spirit of truth comes he will lead you to the complete truth, since he will not be speaking of his own accord, but will say only what he has been told, and he will reveal to you the things to come. He will glorify me, since all he reveals to you will be taken from what is mine. Everything the Father has is mine. That is why I said, all he reveals to you will be taken from what is mine. In a short time you will no longer see me, and then a short time later you will see me again. Then some of his disciples said to one another, What does he mean, in a short time you will no longer see me, and then a short time later you will see me again, and, I am going to the Father. What is this, short time? We don't know what he means. Jesus knew that they wanted to question him, so he said, You are asking one another what I meant by saying, In a short time you will no longer see me, and then a short time later you will see me again. In all truth I tell you, you will be weeping and wailing while the world will rejoice. You will be sorrowful, but your sorrow will turn to joy. A woman in childbirth suffers, because her time has come, but when she has given birth to the child she forgets the suffering in her joy that a human being has been born into the world. So it is with you. You are sad now, but I shall see you again, and your hearts will be full of joy, and that joy no one shall take from you. When that day comes, you will not ask me any questions. In all truth I tell you, anything you ask from the Father he will grant in my name. Until now you have not asked anything in my name. Ask and you will receive, and so your joy will be complete. I have been telling you these things in veiled language. The hour is coming when I shall no longer speak to you in veiled language but tell you about the Father in plain words. When that day comes you will ask in my name, and I do not say that I shall pray to the Father for you. Because the Father himself loves you for loving me, and believing that I came from God. I came from the Father and have come into the world and now I am leaving the world to go to the Father. His disciples said, Now you are speaking plainly and not using veiled language. Now we see that you know everything and need not wait for questions to be put into words. Because of this we believe that you came from God. Jesus answered them, Do you believe at last? Listen, the time will come, indeed it has come already, when you are going to be scattered each going his own way and leaving me alone. And yet I am not alone, because the Father is with me. I have told you all this so that you may find peace in me. In the world you will have hardship, but be courageous. I have conquered the world.